Good morning all. This is Swapna. Welcome to Machine Learning Video. Today's our topic is Advanced Topics in Artificial Neural Networks. In that, first one is Alternative Error Functions. Here in this topic, it is giving Alternative Error Functions to the whatever the error function till now we are used in perceptron rule, delta rule, backpropagation algorithm for that it is giving alternative error function. That is adding a penalty term for weight magnitude. We can add a term to E that increases with the magnitude of the weight vector. This causes this causes weight vectors with small magnitudes thereby reducing the overfitting reducing the overfitting here in this error function already we know till this point it is used in the back propagation algorithm to find out the error it is the error definition given in the back propagation algorithm error with the weight vector half of the Summation through the all the training example, it is summation of the all the output units and the difference between the target uh, output and whatever the output came from the neural network square of that one. So, here it is the error function till now we are using for this it is adding the one more term that we can call as a penalty term that we can add that we can call as a penalty term by adding this there is a Reduced risk of overfitting by adding the small magnitudes for the weight vector. So here each weight is multiplied by the constant upon each iteration. Every iteration it is weight is multiplied with the constant. That constant here is represented with this. Where it is multiplied with this constant. That's why we can add the or reduce the small magnitudes for this width which will reduce the overfitting. So this is the one alternative error function. Here and one more. We are adding a term of errors in the slope or derivative of the target function. Here also for this error function, it is adding the one more derivative of the target function. So this we can use as another alternate for the error function in advanced neural networks. One more. Minimizing the error across entropy of the network with respect to the target values. So by this formula, this one also we can use as the alternative error function for advanced in artificial neural networks. Next one, here it is giving the one more type of altering the effective error function. It can also accomplish by weight sharing or tying together weights associated with different units or inputs. By tying the all the weights or by sharing the weights which are associated with the different units or different inputs. This is also we can use as the effective error function. Next idea is taking the weights forcibly identical values. For all the weights it is starting with the identical values. This is also one more type of idea. Next idea is the various units receive the input from different portions of the time window are forced to share the weights. Different time windows also it is forced to share the weights and force the weights and it is fitting the risk. It is reduced the risk of overfitting by using the property of generalization to unseen situations. This is also one more thing. Alternative error function. So till now we saw this penalty term, adding the penalty term and second one is uh, uh, derivative of the error function adding to the derivative of target function adding to the error function or one more type of is uh, minimizing the cross entropy we can use as the alternative error function. Here one more alternative error function is uh, tying together the weights associated with inputs and one more idea assigning the all identical values uh, identical values for the weights of all the inputs that is one more idea and one more idea is um, the 
different portions of the time we know are forced to share the weights that is one more idea these are all uh, mainly within these uh, most of the functions are used to reduce the risk of overfit so next advanced topic in artificial neural networks is alternative error minimization procedures here we are trying to minimize the error so one optimization method is line search it involves the different approach to choosing the distance of distance for the weight update here it is choosing the distance for the weight update that is one line search and second method is also built on this line search only here they are taking the conjugate gradient method here a sequence of line search is performed to search for a minimum in the inner surface here one search information in first idea second idea it is depends upon the first idea only that is uh, performing the sequence of line searches to minimize the error surface on the first side choose the first step what is the first step in the second method is choose the direction uh, which is negative to the gradient and in subsequent step change the direction or take the new direction to minimize the error so these are the alternative error minimization procedures here given the first method optimization method second method of depends upon the first method only and the next one is advanced topic in artificial neural network is recurrent networks instead of using the multi layer networks here uh, they are proposing the one more thing that is recurrent networks now in recurrent networks name itself says it is adding the one closed loop which we can call as a feedback loop also Uh, to continue with the multi-layer networks, here uh, recurrent networks are artificial networks that apply to time series data that use the outputs of the networks units at a time t as the input to the other units. That means one unit output is you can use as a input to the other unit at a time t plus one. So here one limitation of such network is that the prediction of y t plus one depends only on the x of t that cannot capture the possible dependencies of y t plus one on earlier values of x. So we cannot uh, capture the values for time t plus one. It depends upon the x of t previous time. Okay, t plus one is depends upon the t one. Here what we are specifying. that is using one unit output set to time t is acting as input to the other unit set to time plus t bar here uh, feed forward networks here simply it is having the feed forward networks where it is uh, feeding the one unit outputs to the another unit normal thing that is feed forward on it here recurrent networks here depending upon the time units one unit output is giving to the other unit output and also last one also here it is added one more unit b c of t that is it is feeding back to that one network that is the this is second type of recurrent third here it is gave the unfolded in time unfolded in time first unit is it is taking the copy of recurrent networks first unit is this one here from this it is giving as the uh, this output is giving as input to the next iteration of copy of recurrent network here it is taking this output as input for the next iteration of copy of the recurrent network this we can call as a unfolded in time next advanced topic is dynamically modifying the network structure previously it is used the fixed network structure here in advanced topic specifying about the dynamically that means it can change it can change dynamically or at the time of execution or at the time um, depends upon the time it can change the structure so first idea is begin the network with the zero hidden layers begin the network so with the zero hidden layers and continue continue a uh, growing of the network depending upon the required dynamically you can grow that network that is the one idea this we can call as a cascade correlation algorithm in that algorithm only we are specifying that one constructing the network with the no hidden units this is one idea second idea is dynamically altering the network structure is it to take the opposite approach this is the opposite approach to the first idea that is instead of taking the simplest possible network here take the complex network 
first starting only take the complex network according to the requirement make it as a simple one make it as a simple one these are the two ideas which we is used for the dynamically modifying network structure in this uh, depending upon the requirement or depending upon the task you can choose the first way or you can choose the second way so this is the information related to the advanced topics in artificial neural networks advanced topics in artificial neural networks by this i am concluding this video thank you